just uh, left the truck 100 miles home. We're having a problem. I'll show you what's going on here. So, release the parking brake. Got it in gear. Let the clutch out. Nothing's happening. The power divider out. And it drives. We're gonna get this trailer unhooked, get the truck pulled in the shop, and start tearing into it. That's not good. That's not what I expected to find there. Well, YouTube, that's not good. Means our center section toes. Basically, uh, knew the problem was in the front uh, differential there. Uh, spin the front drive shaft. Uh, if the power divider wasn't locked out, it wouldn't go anywhere. Lock the power divider out, it would drive. Uh, so I drove it home. Uh, I was only about 100 miles away. I was empty. And just took it real easy, drove it home. Uh, we just got here. We pulled uh, the axle stubs out of both sides, and neither of them are broken. Yeah. That means the axle third member's uh, blown up in there, and uh, we're going to have to change it. Okay, so we've got tires off both sides. We've taken the intermediate drive shaft off. Need to take the airline off. We're we'll take the yoke flange off of the back side. Disassemble that. And then we're gonna have to take all the bolts between the third member and the axle housing out and hoist this out of here. seems the problem with the center section is a complete failure of the spider gear assemblies. 
We have a lot of cleaning to do in this rear axle housing. You can see here that this magnet looks like a sea urchin. We also have a lot of larger debris. We now have the whole axle housing cleaned out, flushed out. We replaced the through shaft bearings and seal. We've got the front yoke from the other rear end installed on this one with the new nut. Got a new through shaft. We've also got a new yoke for the through shaft because the old one was pretty worn. Sealant that we're going to use to seal the flange. Before I go any further, I'm gonna double check that no dirt has fallen into the housing and it's perfectly clean. Then I'm going to put the through shaft back into the third member, re-lube it, and the through shaft bearings. squish on that Fermatex too. Squishing all the way around top there too. Put it up against on the top. Okay. We've got all the bolts in place. They're all just snugged down. We've got a nice good squish of the gasket material all the way around the housing. The directions on this Permatex stuff says to install immediately and then wait one hour to torque the bolts. So we're gonna get a few other things done here while we're waiting for that hour to pass and then we're gonna come back and we're tighten all these down. Okay, we've got all of our airlines, brackets, and miscellaneous junk reattached. We've got all of our housing bolts torqued down. And we pulled this axle shaft out. The lock nut was rolling around on the axle. That's not good. But there's this that meets up with one of these holes and locks it in here. And this truck did not have these before, but it's going to have them now. This goes on over the lock ring. Lock nut goes over the top of that. Tighten this one down as tight as we can get it. You see we have that lock nut on there with the tab ring behind it, with the ring behind that with the center holes, and we have the tab bent over that keeps this lock nut from being able to back off and will prevent all the problems that we've had here.
just got back from a test drive, checked everything over, we don't have any leaks anywhere, drove smooth, no issues, so we're going to call this job done. Thank you very much for watching and I uh, hope you like, comment, and subscribe below. Be sure to check out my other videos. Thank you. Have a great day.